Hello there beautiful Minecraft addicts and welcome to uh, the latest episode of my let's play now this is going to be of course a special let's play I'm trying a few new things uh, for example what you see now on the screen is actually pre-recorded and I'm basically going to make some sort of commentary uh, as you might have noticed from the first few seconds of the video, I'm going to build a filler in this episode because I need to get myself a, not, uh, a lot of rubber wood from uh, red power. And how the hell do you chop down a uh, red power rubber wood? So I thought of myself. Well, let's uh, let's make a filler to that uh, inst uh, instead. Now a few things I want to note uh, before getting on. I have updated uh, my forge to the latest version. I think it's uh, one three three fourteen, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, also my forestry to 134 and what else what else the industrial craft to version 1.70 B also uh, logistics pipes to 0 0.20 B so <laughs> a lot of updates um, the thing is uh, I couldn't update them in my initial folder so I basically had to reinstall all my minecraft and my mods and I couldn't update them as it were because from from I don't know whatever reason it kept crashing on me when I put uh, armor on uh, like special armor from industrial craft you know in my test world so the, the f I just needed to reinstall all, everything. Um, what the hell am I doing here? Oh yeah, I uh, I was uh, mistaking the refined eye for iron right there. <laughs> yeah, so basically the video is sped up uh, twice, and in the very very boring parts, it's actually sped up four times. It's going to be about 20 minutes long. I hope uh, I'm not getting boring. Yeah, I actually am watching every single one of my videos and re-watching and re-watching and I am extremely boring. Like, I put myself to sleep. That's the tree I we're going to put down, by the way, in this episode. It's a huge tree. <laughs> um, yeah, and it actually produced a lot of rubber wood. What I want to use the rubber wood for is my flooring because um, I don't know, it's uh, it has a pretty nice texture. Hello, Mr. Enderman. Yeah, I didn't get him. In the daylight, you can never get them. I don't know why. Um, so I was talking about rubber wood uh, trees. The texture is kind of nice and. The special feature, feature about them is that rubber wood from uh, red power does not burn. Uh, not the sapling, not the leaves, not the block itself, so it's uh, impervious to fire. Yeah, I was uh, trying here, I needed to layers down that uh, filler. So, as you can see, I'm Walking next to some uh, started but unfinished uh, floor thingy, <laughs> and I'm going to need uh, all that wood for my uh, rooms uh, for the floors. Um, what? Um, what? What else? What else? Oh, yeah. This is uh, basically me setting up the filler as usual with three glass and three bricks uh, bricks and that uh, engine there is only the first one because uh, further on I'm going to I'll put some more engines they're going there's going to be four engines in total um, yeah I wanted to start um, here I wanted to start my uh, automatic energy production 
for industrial craft with a small solar panel and I don't know if it's in the video, I, I think it should be uh, yeah so I, I had forgotten when I installed all my mods to install uh, additional uh, uh, industrial craft um, advanced machineries from industrial craft that was a big tree by the way <laughs> As you can see, the tree capitator is extremely useful. It's so useful, in fact, that um, I'm thinking maybe not doing the forestry uh, farms, but hey, <laughs> it wouldn't be fun. Um, so I've forgotten uh, to install uh, advanced machinery, but uh, here it is again. I installed it in the meantime. Um, what I am going to use eventually the advanced solar panels um, because um, it takes a smaller uh, amount of space and I think it's actually more useful basically uh, the advanced solar panels from um, advanced machines the add-on for industrial craft they um, uh, allow you to put um, an increasing number of solar panels into a single block so we have the low voltage solar panel we, as you can see there there are three of them we have the low voltage medium voltage and high voltage and basically the um, low voltage is made with a low voltage transformer and eight solar panels in uh, are all around the uh, the medium voltage with it's with a medium voltage transformer and eight low voltage solar panels and uh, so on yeah so we basically have uh, 864 and 500 and 512 use per take produced by uh, by them uh, Yeah, what um, I've been um, a little bit busy with testing because uh, this particular um, design of uh, factory, if you will, uh, or house, I wanted I want to build it um, around the central area. So we'll have a central pillar that is going to be basically our uh, elevator, our transport uh, means. And around that central uh, room that you can see now on my left, that is going to be um, uh, the transport room, the transport pillar, or uh, and uh, I was working on uh, an elevator system, and I think I'm going to do pretty not pretty. I'm going to do pretty soon. Yes, <laughs> that was the words I'm. I was looking for. I'm going to do pretty soon a tutorial on them. It's made with uh, Railcraft and Red Power. Initially, I wanted to build it with Computer Craft, but um, Computer Craft, I have a problem with timings because the basis of that that elevator is um, I want to be able to push buttons and not levers. Okay, so I push a button and I want my car to transport me to whatever floor I uh, tell it. And that button stays uh, open for about one second, one second and a half, and then uh, gets turned off. And I couldn't tell uh, my computer from Computer Craft that it needs... <laughs> Basically, I need to to have uh, some measure of time in it, a uh, delay or something like that, and I couldn't, uh, I couldn't make that happen, or um, tell him that only when uh, red power changes state, I only want that to happen. I have no idea how to tell, uh, to tell my computer that. So basically, what would happen? Uh, I would uh, read the input from uh, red power and it, the computer would go so fast that it would read the same input several times before the state changed on, on that cable so as I press my button 
it actually read that button three times at least <laughs> uh, and interpret crazy stuff from that yeah so maybe it's if uh, I'm going to as I said I'm going to make a tutorial and maybe I'll even show in that tutorial what I was doing with uh, the computer and maybe someone out there might be able to help um, what you're going to see here is basically me speeding up this entire process because it's humongous yeah uh, actually that uh, red power tree gave me not uh, two full chests so not exactly one double chest but somewhere over a single chest maybe a chest and a half some, something like that um, yeah I was thinking about um, this kind of um, whatchamacallit let's play material sort of speak um, I'm not very comfortable doing this because uh, I would I would much rather speak while I'm uh, recording it saves me a lot more time but I, I don't know I just wanted to try this and it's, I, I don't think it's going to be <laughs> uh, a thing <laughs> yeah what else what else I'm thinking um, about implementing in my uh, installs Steve's cards I don't know if, um, from what I've seen uh, the, the that mod has a lot of stuff implemented so and I'm, I'm not even proficient with the, the what you call it this installment of all the mods I mean I don't know all the mods that I have now like uh, back to front or whatever you call it in English and for me to learn one more mod uh, in such a short time it would be although it is fun I've seen people uh, playing uh, around with it a little bit and uh, it looks fun but I don't know. I don't know what to, uh, what to say. Maybe someday. From what I understood, it's actually compatible with Railcraft, so there's not going to be any conflict in there. But uh, we'll see. Uh, what I want to see you here, to show you here is that first of all, that's an amazing view. It's like a UFO <laughs> over my map, and second of all. Uh, red power trees actually drop apples yeah if you believe it or not they actually drop apples uh, this is the final stage of the tree as you can see there are just a few layers and now I'm just picking up uh, the remaining uh, leaves and uh, wood with of course my industrial craft scaffolding which I love by the way that thing is amazing <laughs> uh, yeah, one more bundle of leaves over there and it's going to be over. And now, if I'm not mistaken, we'll uh, start uh, building our uh, floors for the other rooms I was talking about. And another apple fell. Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> because I... Um, made so much dirt and uh, cobblestone I had to build a recycler and at some point in the, in the future I'm going to make some sort of automatic system with that recycler because uh, it's kind of a pain to constantly f feed it things so basically I'm going to make a chest next to it and put everything I want to recycle in that chest and that just will fill it uh, eventually. As you can see, this is the same uh, pattern as my initial room. So basically, it's a nine by nine floor. Uh, on the outside of that floor, uh, 
there are uh, four doors so that makes it from 9 by 9 that makes it 11 by 11 it's a little bit big but um, I like it like that uh, now in this episode I'm only going to plan out the floor because um, well we don't have enough time of course as you can see I leave a uh, space in the middle and count uh, four uh, blocks outside and they'll fi and then uh, fill that area out and if possible I like to put um, one uh, pumpkin one lantern in the uh, in the middle just to get me that extra light levels um, this here what I'm building here is going to be my liquid processing room uh, this is going to be basically where uh, my oil and my um, um, forestry liquids are going to be processed so just the processing and now I'm starting on the liquid storage room this is going to f be filled of course with um, tanks like a lot of tanks and <laughs> yeah I'm going chicken hunting because um, this farm has uh, fulfilled its purpose as I said uh, in a previous episode I was uh, making a chicken farm because I needed um, feathers for my uh, crossbow uh, bolts just a little bit of tidying up because I need that uh, extra space for uh, that room right. um, I have some problems because, uh, because I want to play um, much more than I, than I actually play and the fact that I know I have to record it it's it's annoying me like hell and not only do I have to record it but uh, also I have to process it and um, you know video editing and all that stuff and I think for the future I'm going to uh, play off camera and bring you guys only when I have a very interesting um, uh, project or just to showcase uh, what I've been uh, working on in the so no building just showcasing and yeah okay guys so this about wraps it up for this episode uh, episode number five I'll see you next time. Don't forget to be awesome.